Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this super easy shower poof. You can see it's actually pretty big. I can hold it with both hands. We will just crochet three rounds and it's super super easy to crochet. And now I will show you what we need and how to crochet this super easy shower poof. Today I'm using a 6mm crochet hook. You will also need a pair of scissors, a darning needle and some cotton yarn. I have here a little bit thicker cotton yarn. It's recommended for a 4.5mm crochet hook and I really like working with this yarn. You will need one and a half skein of a uh, cotton yarn and today I was using the paint box yarns cotton around. I will put the link down below but of course you can use any cotton yarn you would like. And now let's get started. We will start with a magic ring and into the magic ring we will be crocheting 15 single crochets so just insert into the ring grab the yarn pull up you have two loops and work a single crochet and this is all you have to do so we will need a total of 15 single crochets into the magic ring so just like this you will keep crocheting single crochets until you have 15 single crochets I just finished my 15 single crochets and now I will crochet the loop to hold the shower poof and I'm going to crochet 30 chains. So I'm not going to finish off this round, I'm just going to crochet 30 chains. 3, 4, 5 and keep going until you have 30. Of course you can make it longer if you want, this is totally up to you. So I just finished my 30 chains and the one thing you have to watch out for is that your chain is not twisted. Once you make sure it's all nice and even and not twisted, we are going to finish off this round and we will insert our hook into the very first single crochet and make a slip stitch. So grab the yarn and pull through just like this of course it's a little bit loose right here you don't have to close the magic ring right now it will make it a lot easier to crochet if it's just like this we will close it once we are done with the first round of double crochets so now let's chain three this chain three counts as our first double crochet we will crochet four double crochets in every stitch and the chain three counts as our first one. So this one counts as the first and now yarn over, insert into the same stitch, grab the yarn, pull up, you have three loops, pull through two and pull through two. And like I said, we need four double crochets in one stitch. So one more and here's our fourth one. And this is all you have to do all the way around. So just four double crochets in every stitch. Three and four. And repeat into the next stitch. So again, into the next stitch, you will crochet four double crochets. And I will do that and I will see you back at the end of this round. So I'm here at the end and we have one stitch left and into the very last stitch, we will of course also crochet four double crochets in one stitch. So here's the second, the third, and the last double crochet. 
and we will close this round um, just like we do with all the next two rounds and you can see I have the loop in the back don't leave it in the front just pull the magic ring closed just like this and make sure the loop we crochet the chains are in the back and we will close each round into the very first stitch so here are our chain three and on top the very first stitch we will close each round with a slip stitch so just like that and now we will repeat the same for round two and round three into in the second round we will be crocheting four single crochets again in every stitch and in the last round will be three so chain three counts as our first double crochet and we will do exactly the same thing like in round two this means four double crochets in every stitch in the next round into the last round then you will be crocheting three double crochets in every stitch so but for this round we will repeat the same thing we just did in the first round which is four double crochets in every stitch all the way around of course this will take some time but it's a very um yeah easy project and you will see it's so much fun to crochet and once you come to the end of this row you will finish just like we did before into the very first stitch with a slip stitch and the next round round three like i said before we will be crocheting three double crochets instead of four in every stitch so this is all you have to do so just keep crocheting and i will see you back at the end of round three so i'm now at round three where i crochet three double crochets in every stitch and this is how the shower proof looks like you can see it forms just by itself it's so much fun to watch but the one thing i wanted to show you is i just finished my first skein and i wanted to show you how to attach the new one if you don't know how if you're a beginner i will show you how to do that it's actually pretty easy but i figured um just to make sure i will show you how to do that you see i have some stitches left to finish this round so yeah i will have to attach a second skein and to do that i will just crochet my double crochet just like this and to finish off i will just chain one and pull through and that way i um i'm securing this last stitch and i know it's not going to open up on me this is just the way i'm doing it of course if you have another way to do it just do it your way but i just want to make sure everything um is right and it's not going to open up now grab the second skein and pull through the last stitch from our double crochet grab the yarn end to the back and now just keep crocheting so into the next stitch again i will crochet three double crochets in every stitch and this is how i'm changing um, my skein of yarn and i hope it helps you so now for the last round i'm going to repeat three double crochets in every stitch and i will see you back at the end of round three and i will show you how to finish off and how to sew in your yarn ends i just finished my last three double crochets and our shower poof is done all i'm going to do now is again slip stitch into the very first double crochet now i'm going to chain one pull very tight and now we can cut the yarn so just grab your scissors cut the yarn grab your hook and pull the hook all the way up and through and now pull tight 
and we are done. The only thing left, of course, is now to sew in all the yarn ends. Here's the one from the beginning. Here's where we attach the skein and, of course, the last one. And it's also super easy. So let's do that. So grab your darning needle. I will start with the yarn end where we just finished our shower proof and I'm going here all the way down until I reach my um, yarn end from the beginning from the magic ring. So I will just go with my darning needle all the way through through the double crochets so I can hide the yarn end. So just grab and pull through and you won't even be able to tell where the yarn end was. So like you can see, I'm just going all the way down through the double crochets. And then I will just tie a knot when I reach the other yarn end. So just like this, pull through and you can't even see where the yarn went through. So pull all the way through and now I will grab the yarn end from the magic ring, pull it tight one more time and I'm going to make three knots just to secure it. Of course you can also sew those in but I'm just going to make three knots to secure it and I know it's not going to open up on me. So the last one. And now grab your scissors and cut the yarn. And now I will show you how to sew in the yarn ends where we attached um, the second skein, which is also super easy. So let's do that. So this is where we attach the second skein. The first thing I'm going to do is to make a knot or two just to secure it. And now I will grab my darning needle again and I will hide the yarn ends again in those double crochets. So it's super easy. It's just the same like we did before. So just grab the yarn and just hide it here in the double crochets. Pull through, just don't pull too, too tight. And there is no right or wrong. I will now go through some stitches right here. Pull through. Then I will go through the opposite side Grab the needle, pull through, and this is all I'm going to do. You won't be even able to see, uh, yeah, where we were hiding this yarn end. And pull through one more time. Now cut the yarn and do exactly the same thing with the last yarn end. And we are done. I really, really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you had a great time crocheting this with me. And I can wait to see you back soon. Bye.